Uh, well, speaking of wrapping your head around something, I've got to plug something. I saw this clip. I tweeted it out. The Briscoe brothers, not Jack and Jerry, but Mark and Jay Briscoe, them boys from Delaware, on this weekend's, apparently this weekend's television program, that's the way that I read it, uh, from Ring of Honor, are going to have a fight on the chicken farm. And they did a package, and everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of the Briscoes. I think that Mark and Jay Briscoe are probably... They're not the best in-ring tag team in the world, or they weren't as of last year because that was FTR just as pure workers, but the Briscoes are a tremendous and unique tag team and probably two of maybe the two best personalities in wrestling today, just to be completely truthful to who they are and what they are and how they come off. Uh, maybe the best personalities in any company in wrestling today. I've been a fan of theirs for a long time. They're doing a brother and brother thing, but it's not, thankfully, it's not a ripoff of Brett and Owen Hart and, and where one younger, the younger brother is a whiny, you know, heel or whatever. And it's not as dry as the famous match between Dory and Terry, which was a Japanese tournament final. And you got to see them wrestle, but it, there wasn't any, you know, emotional reason behind it. It was all for the tournament. This one, they're just two brothers that have been crazy and fought each other all their life and have fights to settle their differences when they're at the farm, and they're going to do this, and they did the package. You saw some of it, interviewed Papa Briscoe, who's more credible and a better promo than most of the guys in the business today, and he told the story. Yeah, they've been doing that since they grow up. They whoop on each other, and that's why we're going to get it out of their system where they can settle down. And Mark and Jay are just, they're both, you could legitimately probably get somebody to certify that they need to be put away somewhere. They're both fucking crazy as rainbow trouts in a car wash. And they've got the fucking look. And somebody mentioned this on Twitter when I tweeted out that video package. They said, here's the difference. If either one of these Briscoe brothers, much less both of them, came up to me on the street and were mad at me, I would turn around and start running, whether I had a bat or a tire tool or whatever the fuck, I'd get the fuck out of there because they look like they'd fucking kill me. And if the Cucamonga kids, pie face and balding, did the same thing, came up to me on the street, I'd laugh. Whether they could beat me or not, I wouldn't be scared of them because of the way they look. And also, they would probably think that, you you know, they were trying to sell you lemonade or something. But that's the difference. The Briscoes, they look like who they are. They talk like who they are. They work like who they are. And I'm a fan. And I'm going to watch this. And we're going to talk about it. I, as I said, I assume it's this weekend's program. Hopefully, we'll have that on the drive through But uh, I, I, I want to see because, as I mentioned in the tweet, brother versus brother is hard to pull off. And cinematic matches are often dreck, but they're on their real legitimate chicken farm, which by the way, I don't know. Does, does anybody even know now? Have, have I assumed when I was with ring of honor, we disseminated this information quite often, but that's their real fucking job. Besides wrestling for ring of honor for the past 15 years or whatever, they work on the family chicken farm. And I actually had, Mark and Jay, but well, they both came in the locker room one time and Jay was kind of dragging. I said, Jay, I know Mark was dragging. I said, Mark, what? He said, oh man, we had to clean out one of the coops. And apparently he spent an hour in this summer heat in one of the big chicken coops they had that holds like thousands of chickens because it was hot and they had an issue and he had to shovel a bunch of dead chickens out of there in summer heat. I'm like, you motherfuckers, no wonder you're fucking crazy. Are they but Cajun originally? Because I was listening to the dad's voice in that promo, and he sounded Cajun. It's, it's a dialect, and I and maybe somebody else out in the audience uh, can explain it better. But the folks on the coast of Virginia, from say Roanoke over to the coast, and that end of Delaware also, Earl Hebner, Earl Hebner has that Virginia dialect. 
the Briscoes sound a lot like Hebner and some of those guys over there. I don't know what the difference is, but but anyway, they have it. It is it, again. It's unique to them, but they're gonna fucking film, and I assume they're gonna do it in one take. I hope they do because those guys are good enough to. And once you start doing multiple takes, you've lost a lot of what makes wrestling wrestling. But uh, I bet you it's not going to be. It's probably going to be entertaining because they're fucking entertaining guys, especially Mark. Jay has to be the serious brother, but Mark's fucking nuts. And he's the brilliant one, for real. Um, But I hope it's not going to be silly. I expect it to be entertaining. I expect it to look good. I expect them to beat the shit out of each other, but not do any crazy fucking stupid reckless thing that fucking hurts them too bad. And I, I'm just hoping, and I don't expect it, that it will not be silly. I don't expect that from them. So we'll see what fucking happens. But uh, I, I love those. You know, and and here's the thing. They had a chance. What was it? 2011, 12-ish. The WWF was sniffing around. And they ended up not biting because of certain things that the Briscoes may have said or done in the past. But that's probably the best thing. Because I think these guys, they would have emasculated the briscoes of everything that makes them special and real and they would have been lost in the shuffle and they would have probably made a good bunch of money for a little while but they wouldn't have been happy and they would have been away from their family and their home and they always the whole family lives on kind of a compound there in shady fork so they're like a modern day uh north northern type version of the armstrongs they would rather be in the wrestling business do their family business be with the family and, you know, and be themselves rather than, I think, the WWF. That's where they should have been. They should have been the biggest star tag team in the business at one point. But they they wouldn't have... They might have made some money in WWE, but they wouldn't have gotten there because that would have been another case where they just didn't know what to do with those guys. And they're the antithesis of sports entertainment because everything the Briscoes do that really gets over is stuff that you would believe. So anyway, we'll watch that and see what's going to happen. We've seen the good and the bad of modern tag team wrestling. AEW, WWE, including NXT. Is there a tag team that you see that you actually think would be a good fit to work with the Briscoes? Uh, well, see, here's the thing. FTR would have been an incredible fit. And some people might say, well, it might be a clash of styles. No. If you had the Briscoes as the kick-ass baby faces, and FTR as the Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson style wrestling heels, there would have been contrast, but still everybody's good enough. They could have torn the fucking house down because the Briscoes best matches. Actually, I thought were not even with Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin that you would think because Haas and Benjamin were more real and more experienced, but it was with um, Hero and, and Claudio because they they just had a better style that meshed with Hero and Claudio could work with anybody. Their matches with Haas and Benjamin were tremendous. But they Haas and ben, or Hero and Claudio just had more of the old style heel tag team tendencies that were perfect for the gimmick baby faces like the Briscoes. I think that uh, FTR could have done the same thing. Um God, I'm trying to think of another really good tag team these days. Help me. I can't. <sighs> Isn't that sad? Proud and powerful, although we never, we haven't seen them team up as a tag well, team in a long time. I, so I, I was about know. to say, if we ever really saw a good look at them against somebody that, you know, knew what they were doing too, we'd know, but we don't. Um, hmm. Well, there you go. But that'll be this weekend on Ring of Honor Television.